Hey guys, Haz here at Shield Canine, and um, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting my German Shepherd puppy Malice here in tracking. Um, now, I haven't decided whether we're going to be doing sports style tracking, like uh, IPO or CKC or AKC style tracking, or whether we're going to be doing ultimately with this dog, um, you know, police style tracking, preparing him for life on a police force um, in which the dogs are actually, you know, tracking, you know, criminals and such so but for me the foundation is going to be the same uh, regardless and I'm going to be using an article based tracking system so I'm basically going to be teaching Bain to find articles um, on a track articles like this washer here and uh, he's going to learn to really f um, be very interested and excited about finding these articles and eventually I'm going to actually introduce it to a track and he's going to learn that if he follows the track he finds these articles and these articles are the key the keys to him being rewarded so um, I'm using this washer it's a fairly large washer eventually I'm going to be transitioning Bane uh, sorry Bane Malice here onto um, uh, smaller much smaller articles than this but in the beginning you should always start with a larger article so what I'm going to do I have treats in my pocket I have them on a leash just so that he doesn't leave what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the article on the ground and when the dog gets to the article I'm going to immediately reward him. Good. When you're starting with this activity your dog isn't naturally going to go to the article so make sure you show your dog the article, right? And when he goes to it, immediately, you want to be quick with having that food there. And whenever he kind of loses focus, I'm just going to hold him back from the article. Six, six, six. Good. Good. Good boy. Now there's a couple things, if you watch what I'm doing, I'm rewarding him consistently when his nose hits the article. Okay? Um, I, he doesn't have to actually touch it. He just has to show full focus on the article. I want to see eyes nose and ears pointed towards the article. If he's pointing at anything other than that article, I'm not going to reward him. I'm just going to wait until he actually looks at the article. Good. So if you're watching, I'm doing a number of things. First of all, um, sometimes I'm pulling the dog away from the article. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want him to actually become frustrated and very driven to get to that article. The other thing that I'm doing is as, as soon as I see that focus, I'm marking, like I use a voice marker with the dog. You don't even have to really mark as long as you're quick with the food delivery. And I'm tossing that food as close to the article as I can. He eats the food, he goes to the article. Some of the food goes away from the article. If this is your first session, try to not let that happen because the farther away from the article the food goes, the harder it is for the dog to find it again. So you always want to watch your level of difficulty when you're performing this, uh, this task for the first time with your dog. The more proficient they get in it, and it, over a few sessions it happens really quick, um, you know, the easier it is for the dog and the more that he can find that article. Six, 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 six. Good boy. Good. The other thing that you can do is if your dog isn't all that interested, you can move it around a little bit. Get him, get him on it. 
and when he goes to it, immediately reward him. Good boy, all right? So, you're really, what we're trying to create here is duration. I want a dog to hit the article and to really stay on the article. So, uh, I don't want him to go and leave and go and leave. I actually really want him to go and stay. So, I'm gonna really work some duration now with him. I'm pulling him away because I want you guys to be able to see it. And whenever he blocks the camera angle, I have to immediately kind of pull him away just so you guys can see what it is that we're doing here. The other thing you notice too, is he doesn't look at my hands. He keeps his focus on the article, which is what I want from him. If he was to look at my hands, I would immediately stop rewarding. He needs to be solely focused on the article. Good boy. The other thing that you might notice um, from this video is that he's very excited to do this. Like he's screaming to get to the article. That's because he hasn't had breakfast this morning. A lot of people try to do things with their dogs on a full stomach. What you want to make sure is that he's really hungry when you do this. You're going to have an optimal amount of motivation and desire. Um, when I'm training a puppy, I basically take his meals, I divide it. Uh, you know, into however many training increments I'm going to do throughout the day. And he basically gets his meal instead of from a bowl. He gets it from my hand for doing stuff. So, okay, guys. So this was uh, the first in our series of videos that are going to follow Malice's uh, progress in tracking and other things. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me how, you know, I train a dog to track. And I thought I'd film a series of videos kind of getting into a little bit of the how-to um, you know, when, when it comes to the tracking.